Mr. Light is here with the monthly update for June 2021. Now, this month has been a bit tricky for me. I've had a lot of trouble um, every so often with work being quite tiring at the moment. There's a lot going on at work that's kind of stressing me out. So, I have been trying to finish games, but I only got those done. But I bought a lot of games here. You probably notice there's a little bit of a tower there. I'll go over that one last, because that is special, that one. Now then, to start out with, let's begin with the games I finished, shall we? So, for the first game I finished, I got a Platinum Trophy. Of Broken Sword 5 for Serpent's Curse. And I just laughed at the Platinum Trophy. I've recorded it. It's on my channel. It was flipping hilarious. Absolutely made me laugh. And if you, if you, are, if you know what the thing is about the go Broken Sword Goat, you'll see why I found it so funny. Because it is quite silly. I did enjoy the game. Had a great time with it. And yeah. I'm very happy I got this. That's good. I have finished a Let's Play, and it's very difficult to do this one, but I did it. DN Angel, my Japanese PS2 game. I am amazed I pulled this off because there is practically no walkthrough for this game, aside from this that I've done. The reason being, there is a guide on game FAQs, but it's incomplete. The one who wrote it said he got stuck on a specific puzzle. I actually solved it quite easily. I figured out how to solve it. So yeah, if anyone has got this game or wants to know what the heck you have to do on it, look at my playthrough because I've got the guide, basically. So yeah, I enjoy the game. I'm a DN Angel lover, so I, I'm very happy with that. And next, I lastly actually, I finished... The game Akiba's Beat on the PS4. Ah, uh, this was, I got it, an enjoyable game. It's, okay, I'm going to say this. I played it a lot, for quite a lot in a, in a short time. And I got really far into the game. After a long time, I just thought, I just want a break from this game. I want to just take it, to do some other stuff. So, did loads of other stuff. I went back to it. After a whole year of not playing it. Yeah, I this was literally a year's long wait. And I discovered I was on the final battle. So I wait, I spent a year not playing this game. Not realising I was on the final battle. That was stupid of me. But I did it and I got the true ending. And I'm going to work on platinum again. But there's a lot of grinding to do. So better get ready for that. Now then. We have some games to talk about. We're going to start with these. Now, I'm going to be honest, when I started this month off in June, I felt like playing a lot of sport games. And one reason I played a lot of them was because of Captain Subasa on the PS4. Really got into it. I wanted to play some other sport games. One game I bought online was Pink Pong on the PS2. A ping pong game with an all female cast with very awkward outfits. It's rather a bizarre game, but I do enjoy it. I'm going to try and finish it. I'm not doing a let's play, because I don't think that's a good idea. But I want to try and finish the game at some point and add it to my completed game list because it is quite a fun game. Yeah, put it there. Uh, the other PS2 game I got, I got this for 50 pence, a cash generator. Strawberry Shortcake, the street, Sweet Dreams game. Wow. That's a mouthful. Yep, I got this. 50 pence. I thought, can't pass that up. It's unusual. I got it. It's basically a side-scroller puzzle game. It's not that complicated. But I'm going to finish it one day. Probably won't do a Let's Play of it. I haven't decided yet. Alongside um, Ping Pong... At a charity shop, I brought, for 99 pence, Virtua Tennis 3. Now, there's a slight thing about this. 
while I did get Virtual Tennis 3, inside this was the Journey Collector's Edition. Yes, I got the Journey Collector's Edition inside this box. So I got two deals here. I got both these games, both of these, for 99 pence. That's awesome. Very happy I did that. That was a bargain. Next, the PS4 games I got. Three of them. Uh, do it this way. But I got these two games at a charity shop for £5 each. First off, The Evil Within. Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually started this game yet because I just haven't felt like playing it. When I get into a bit of a horror game mood, I'll probably go and play it. But at the moment, i got other stuff I'm working on. I haven't even started that yet. I also got Le Tour de France 2018. Yes, I got this basically because I, I, I have wanted to try one of these games to see what they're like. It's very awkward, I have to admit. I find it pretty difficult to play, mostly. One reason is... <sighs> there are like eight races you got... Sorry, eight courses you got to go through to finish a whole um, sea area. A whole race. And one of those, just one of eight, took me an hour to get through. I really didn't like that. I really found it awkward. So I'm probably not going to do much more of this game because I just find it so awkward. It's not even that. It's not as enjoyable as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I'm not really keen on it. Unlike the next game, which I am having fun with. Car Mechanic Simulator. Oh, yes. This is a freaking fun game. Just... Get a car and sort it out. Get it all fixed up. There are some tricky bits. Like there are some part, um, puzzles. It's basically a puzzle game in a way. Trying to solve the problems with the car. is. I do actually really enjoy it. I gotta say. I do have a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna try and platinum it one day. Because it is really enjoyable. But there's quite a few trophies that are gonna take me a long time. So this is a long term game. But it's fun nonetheless. You see all these. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games. Now I'm going to show these to you and then tell you why it's so special I got all 10 of these. Game on top is a Wii game. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Haven't tried it yet because uh, I've got Galaxy 1. I'm going to try and get through that first. But yeah, I got this one and I'm pretty happy I got that. Now the rest are GameCube games. Wait to see what I got in my collection. First off, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Heck yes, can't go wrong. Love the game, very happy with it. It's an old classic of mine, really fond of that game. Sonic Mega Collection. Not a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, but I thought, can't pass it up. Super Buster Move All-Stars. Haven't really tried this yet, to be honest, but see how it goes. Legend of Zelda Four Sword Adventure. A very good game to get because this is expensive, but I'll tell you why I'm so happy about the fact I got that. Mario Kart Double Dash. That also came inside with a spare GameCube memory card, so thank you. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yep. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. That's actually... I like that Sonic game. Super Mario Sunshine. A pretty challenging Mario game. But heck, I like it. So, that's good I got. Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Well, yeah, I can't go wrong with this. This is actually a good Zelda game. I do like that one. And Gotcha Force. A game I have wanted to try. And now I've got it. I'm going to give it more of a go and see what I think about it. Might think about doing videos, but I haven't decided yet. Now, do you know why these 10 games are so special? I will tell you why. These 10 games cost me, all together, 4 quid. I am deadly serious. I got these 10 games at a charity shop, all together, for 4 quid. I, I was shocked. 
that I could do that, but I did. I got them all for ten quid. That was for four quid. Ten games for four quid. I couldn't pass it up. I had to buy all of these, and I'm really happy I did. Sadly, the GameCube doesn't have a USB port, so I can't use my recording device on it, which is annoying. I'm going to find something I can do about um, recording on GameCube, but it might come to the point of recording GameCube games using my camera. If you guys have seen on my channel, I've got a couple of videos recorded with my camera. And if you want me to do some GameCube recording, if you want me to play some of these games I've got here, um, just you have to. I want you have to be aware that it probably will be with my digital camera, which I'm using now. And I understand if it won't look good, but I've got no other way around it because the GameCube doesn't have a USB port, so I can't record GameCube games to my device. But if you guys do want to see GameCube games, maybe some of these. I can use my digital camera and we can get on with that. And I have got other games I want to record with my digital camera. Like I'm in the middle of doing a Let's Record of Time Hollow. And I might go back to that soon. But if you guys are not happy with the camera recordings, I'll have to see what I can do. But I do want to continue using the camera at points for something to use it with, as well as these updates. So yeah. So if you guys want me to continue using the camera for those Let's Records, um, I'd be happy if you could be okay with that. But if you're not, I'll sort something out if I do. So, all these games, 10 games, 4 quid. Can't go wrong with that, can you? So, that's all for this video. Now, let me just go over. We're coming into July. Now, I'm going to be truthful about this. You might, I might notice that was quite a good deal. Got good games there, all that. To be honest, I'm planning in July to not really spend a lot of money on games. Because I got all these games here and my room is literally covered with games. I'm actually running out of room for a lot of them, which is a problem. So with July, I might not be record, uh, might not have as many games as I hope to have. I would like to have, but I gotta try and cut back a bit on buying games. Which is why July is I'm gonna be doing more focus on finishing the games I've got. I'm gonna try the monthly update in July might hopefully be more about the games I finished rather than what I bought. I might have one or two games bought, maybe three if I'm lucky. But I'm going to spend a lot of July finishing the games I've got instead of buying them. And also, I have got ideas for a few Let's Plays I might try and get on with. I got some of them finished on my channel. But I also have some I will start up and hopefully get finished by the end of the month. So I'll try doing that as well. And I hope you guys will continue watching my videos and enjoy my channel. Thank you all for the support. I'm glad I got so many people watching my channel and I hope to see you all again in the future. So see you and I'll see you again.